An Aurora police officer caught on camera speeding to a call just seconds before a deadly crash. Now, Denver 7 has obtained the surveillance video showing the moments before the crash that killed 44-year-old Elias Anderson. We're also getting new details shedding light on just how fast that rookie officer was going. Our consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen is digging into this crash investigation and Aurora PD's policies for officers. We've been talking to multiple sources with knowledge of this ongoing investigation, and they tell us preliminary data show that the Aurora police officer was going 100 miles an hour in a 40 mile an hour zone. No lights, no sirens when the accident happened. This surveillance video shows the police crews are speeding down chambers and then the sound of the crash. <laughs> Slow it down and you can see lights and sirens were not on Saturday night. Not long after that, a massive response from first responders. The scene from that night, an indication of the speeds involved. I would ask the community to please pray. Aurora police are now clarifying. Officer Eduardo Landeros was responding to a report of a door kicked in at a condo complex, a priority two call. APD's policy states those calls can be treated as an emergency, but if they are, police are required to use lights and sirens, and they can speed so long as it does not endanger life or property. It definitely violated policy. Say there's probably also some state charges that could be filed. MSU um, criminal justice professor I'm Stacey sure. Hervey says even though the officer may have violated policy, this is more complicated. Troopers say the other driver may have been impaired and may have run a stop sign. We also know that right now Aurora is um, kind of in the spotlight, right? So I think they probably will react more um, than maybe another department would. We now know the name of the man who died, 44-year-old Elias Anderson. He's a father of two. I spoke with his family today. They're asking for privacy during this investigation. Now, troopers tell me they are reconstructing the entire accident scene. They say they're taking this investigation very seriously as serious questions are being raised. I'm Jacqueline Allen for Denver 7. And Colorado State Patrol is the lead on this investigation. CSP says the investigation could take months to complete. Officer Eduardo Landeros is now out of the hospital and is on paid injury leave.